the other day, I was watching an island video when all of a sudden, they broke a tree and it instantly replanted, which I didn't even know was possible. Now, I actually have no idea how they managed to do that, but I got a couple of hunches because honestly, if there is an ax that automatically replants like trees, I mean, I need to have it like for real. Like even if you look into the wood cutting like section here, it doesn't say nothing about nothing. I will buy upgrade XP boost. Yes. So I actually went into a shop server and I, I found an ax vending machine. So I'm going to buy this ax. I did it. Wow. I now have an ax that is actually much stronger. Now I actually have no idea what the properties are of this ax. Now some of you guys might know, but it's going to be pretty sick. I got some pretty good plans. There's rubies in the game. I've never even seen rubies. There's so much crazy stuff here. This is, it's just honestly mental. Pumpkin seeds, cactus seeds sell for how much? How many have I I've got? 86. I'm rich. Ah! Oh, the server owner left. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's time to go home and check out our brand new axe. I'm very excited to see how it actually is going to perform. Is this all you need to automatically replant? What? I actually don't know if it is. Like, it might very well not. All right, so here we are. Oh, wait, there's save slots now? What? Yo, that's so cool. I didn't even know about that. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so let's see. I break this tree. Will it automatically reply? Bop! Yes! Dude, that is so OP. That is so good. Dude, that literally makes life a trillion, zillion, billion times easier. Like, that is insane. Making an automatic tree farm is so easy with this. Are you serious? Wow! That is mental. Will it even do this one? Oh, wait, there's a beehive. One time I got a bunch of crap from people because I destroyed a tree with a beehive on it. Stay mad. Ha <laughs> ha! I delete tree. Oh, beehive with another beehive. I will not delete this because it's a, an orange tree and I want to keep my oranges. <laughs> oh, bee, you have nowhere to go. <laughs> they mad. All right, I'm going to break all this stuff down right here because I actually don't need this setup anymore. As you guys can probably tell, I have a bunch of random crap literally laying around everywhere. Like, it is a bit of a mess. Let's just say there isn't very much organization going on, on, on in here. So, uh, yeah, what I'm actually going to do real quick is I'm going to break down this entire tree farm right here because, honestly, I don't need it anymore. I mean, I'm going to make something 10 times better. Oh, wait, the pirate guy is still here. I totally forgot. Yeah, the pirate guy still gives you free crap. Give me free stuff. All right, I mean, I got to just quickly get this, man. I, I got to get my daily reward, you know? Yeah, 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 got it. The fact that I now have a replanting axe is absolutely insane to me. I think it's about time that I create the number one best tree farm in all of Island. All right, so all of that stuff is now gone finally, which is good. I got all my trees back. Here, yeah, so DV actually made a video about the easiest wood auto farm designs. Mobile friendly. Which I've watched a little bit of the video, as you can see right there, but I haven't actually finished it. Now, I think that this is all cool and stuff, but I think I got something better for you. Now, I usually tend to really only work with my own designs, but I saw this and it's absolutely genius. So this right here is uh, by Thomas and uh, he, he pretty much tweeted it at DV and Roblox Islands and not me, but I saw the tweet and I thought it was really cool. So yeah, I'll quickly show you guys. It's absolutely sick. So pretty much he upgraded four utility coal totems for one hit, which I didn't even know was possible, by the way. Like apparently you can upgrade coal totems and other totems to like be, be like better and stuff. Like, like they will make you hit harder. I don't know. And then pretty much he just holds rotates and left mouse button and it will just, it's like an auto farm. It's insane. Look at him go. And it's literally just like, boop, 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 boop. like it's just insane. So yeah, I'm going to take a lot of inspiration from that farm design because it's actually very clever. Starting with the upgraded coal totem. Wait, actually, I need to know exactly how to do this before I just build it. Does DV explain? Okay, he uses an iron totem and he goes to the utility. Yeah, so pretty much he just upgrades a, uh, a utility totem or like a coal totem or whatever totem. And it just makes you an absolute god. It like makes you break anything pretty much instantly, which is insane. So what I'm actually going to do real quick is I'm actually going to break down all of this stuff right here and I'm going to build my wood farm somewhere around there. Here is my pretty clever design for a thing. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. A conveyor. Conveyor design. So one thing I really like that the guy did is the, the spinning design. I think that is really clever. But there's one problem with that farm design, and that is that you're not using all that many trees, and you can't really use that many tree variations, because you just simply have limited range. Like, you're not really moving all that much. But I think I have an idea on how I might be able to actually fix that. Give me my food, please. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Does the diamond sickle actually auto replant as well oh wait i have to quickly figure this out oh wait here's a diamond whoa i got a good deal on the diamond axe it's 1.5 milli here brother jeez okay so this guy doesn't actually sell any oh there it is it only sell one ah! Ah! thank you i've been trying to fight a freaking cycle for so long you are my friend you are a master core builder leader it'll be in video 
if you're making one. I am recording right now. Oh, he said also I have this. Ah, I freaking. I got one. And now I'm frozen. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to replace a couple of them just so that I can actually do the testing. I want to know if that replants. It's all I need to know. All right, let's see the moment of truth. No, it doesn't do crap. It's awful. It's... Oh, thank you so much. Very polite person for giving it to me. Oh, why would you get me hopes up like that? I thought it was going to... Stupid. Stupid. Bro, I thought it was going to replant. Well, it still will be useful. But if it automatically replanted, it would literally be, like, insane. All right, time to make the actual... Uh... <laughs> Tree farm. So I got a bit of an idea and I think it should work pretty good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here, let's go 13 wide. Some like so. And I actually measured it out so it's exactly the same length away from the center as that one is. So that way everything looks perfect. All right. So how far is the actual reach of like my player? I think probably at least this, right? Here, okay. Let me see actual the distance. Like, can I break that? Okay. So that's the distance there. Okay. Cool. 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 So I can't really find anything exactly about how much space like space the saplings actually need to grow so i'm actually gonna just do my own test i'm tired of waiting wait wait, wait. i should talk to this guy and buy his stuff right totally forgot about that <laughs> and bye oh finally i met the requirements necessary to grow a tree so i now know the height it is one two three four five eleven blocks in between well that is good to know i've just been upping them like one level at a time like each side and it's just been taking forever but i now know the exact number which is great all right so let's fill this entire layer up with oak trees now and i can actually oh green and red and i don't really care but i'll catch them anyway are these any good Yay. all right i actually need more saplings holy crap all right so i'm just quickly gonna buy a hundred more of every sapling because i might as well so yeah guys the way that this pretty much works is very simple you're gonna stand on the conveyor and you're gonna go side to side and now it doesn't just go side to side okay there's a little more something to it let me quickly finish planting all these trees so that way i at least have one layer done so you can kind of get a bit of a good idea so you're gonna start all the way at the top and currently this layer is entirely empty and you're gonna just stand here holding left click. You're not gonna move your camera like the one guy did. Even though I thought it was such a cool idea, I couldn't actually manage to get it incorporated. But as you can see, I just stand on the conveyor and I'm breaking trees. And what would happen is I will put a spawn point all the way at the top. So you can just kind of keep infinitely dwindling your way down. It's very nice. And it kind of keeps things a little bit vertical. I've seen DV's design. It's very horizontal. And I don't really like that because you're just gonna have to travel like a super long distance. And actually incorporating it into a build is gonna be impossible so yeah i like this design a little better i gotta be honest with you but yeah let's see right here so all i need to do right now is so i have the next layer right here which is gonna be a spruce i think what is the next tier a pine a pine a pine i really hope that all of the trees have the same height limitations as oak uh because if they don't i'm a bit worried but yeah just place all of these trees right here beautiful now i'm just gonna have to wait for one of them to grow because then i can actually get an idea of how much height i need but while i'm waiting on that let me actually go and get my world's very first spawn point i did actually know you could buy these i saw it in dv's video i was like holy crap that's genius i need one of them letters save slots and slime blocks slime blocks huh ah, yeah yeah i never heard of this there's been an update while i while i was sick guys uh but there was been an update yeah how do i get this there it is pink slime block green slime block and a blue slime block holy crap that is so freaking cool let's see how it works oh it just bounces you oh okay does blue bounce be more oh it does wow okay but can you play stairs upside down oh you can but can you make make things move upwards oh that is so cool look at this oh my god that is so cool dude look at this look at look at me go look at me go oh wait what okay go okay okay i gotta i gotta just move this up a little bit this is like the coolest thing ever look at this look at this i'm just go afk I just moved upwards. I even have it, have it. Wow. I actually don't know what that's useful for, but it's cool. <laughs> you can make bouncy castles, which is cool. So this right here would be, yeah, it seems like there are different heights for different trees, which is good to know. <laughs> All right. I found the next layer, which is good. All right. Let me just quickly make sure that everything can still replant right now or replant. I mean, grow. Tree. Yeah, everything seems to be working right. Woo. All right, next up, we got bird. All right, so yeah, guys, if you actually wanted to do this yourself, it's very easy to figure out the tree height. You just need to let a tree grow, and then all you need to do is just figure out the exact height that you can build at on top of them. So yeah, as you can see, I can't go one block lower, which means this is the height. Okay, so I came across one slight problem, and that's that you can actually end up landing on top of the tree. Now, I thought maybe it's not a big deal if you can just break it, but for some reason, if you hit the bush, it doesn't actually break. So that's 
all right. I mean, I could easily fix this. I'll just go two further blocks out, which is fine, but it's it's kind of funny. All right, now actually what I'm doing to make sure that I will never get stuck in this is I'm actually placing a uh, ladder right here because it counts as a full block. There won't ever be a tree that grows inside of it, just in case. <laughs> oh my God, dude, this is actually looking so sick. Next layer is hickory. Here, where's the spawn pad? Adventurer? No. Wait, am I going crazy or is it literally nowhere to be found? Huh? I gotta buy it from Jack. Oh, here he is, the mechanic. Oh my God, why is he so... There it is. Okay, I'll buy like 20 of them. <laughs> These are going to come in very useful. All right, so how does it work? Place it. Is that just now to spawn? Oh my God, that is so simple. Okay. All right, next layer. And I think for now going to be the final layer, which is going to be, what is it called? The, the yellow one. The yellow one, of course. The final layer shall be the yellow one. Okay, so can I place this here with then a conveyor on top of it? Will that still work? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, and it does. Awesome. Okay, so I jump off I, and I will automatically look the right way. Perfect, bro. Let me get my hickory out and let's start planting these babies. All right, I still need four saplings. <laughs> awesome. So I think there's only one thing left to do, which is setting up the like the, the quick break totems, like the ones that will let me break things quicker. I think I'm going to place those like right out here. So, uh, okay, so I just go here, upgrade, and I keep upgrading this to level 10. Okay, let's make it level 12. Let's keep it funky. Is this not what one hit? Oh, it is. Oh, that's, I like it. I like that a lot. Oh, that's sick. I right, place another one right there. Wait, what am I out of? Stone? I can get more stone. Okay, so I got to keep upgrading until this is a level, like a one hit. So I need more stone. Okay, well, guys, you know what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to upgrade all of those before the next video. But I mean, it's it's just going to take me to harvest a bunch of stone, okay? All I need to do is harvest stone. It's going to take me like literally seconds. But guys, with that, I'm going to be ending off today's video. Guys, if you haven't already, like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is very, very sick. A tree farm. And I could le easily be adding more on top of this. I know there's like palm trees and all kinds of other stuff. I might add those in there at some point, like the spirit tree. But uh, I need just a ton of saplings to actually be able to do it. So it's gonna wait a minute. But guys, with that, I'll see you all in the next one. If you haven't already liked the video, subscribe to the channel. See you later, boys. Peace!